Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to day 19, technically day 20, uh, of our Vita Challenge. VDA vlogging every day in April, and this will be another 2-4 because I forgot to do one last night. Uh, so basically what happened last night is that uh, I got home, I was feeling good because I you know, closed the store on time and all that, and then I you know, was monitoring the chat for one of our G1 game days, and then just lost track of time and forgot to film one. And it kind of crashed on the couch because uh, I guess the adrenaline finally kicked in and it's like, Johnny, you're tired, you need to go to bed. Um, but yeah, I uh, just wanted to show this too because remember that old saying, April, sh April showers bring May flowers? Well, it's a little different in Canada because this is what I woke up to this morning. Goddamn fucking snow. It's always like half a centimeter or what, four quarter of an inch, whatever you guys measure in the U.S., but, come on, it's April, F stop fucking snowing, like, melt, for God's sakes, I don't think all the snow piles have melted yet, I think there's still piles of dirt, with, like, a little bit of ice on there, like, oh, this is driving me nuts, like, and apparently we're supposed to be getting more, like, why does it, does, why does it do this, I honestly think that because of the date, my mother nature must be stoned off her ass, which I'll talk about in the next Vita. Um, I just want to talk about this weird dream I had last night where Melanie and I, for some reason, pre-ordered the LG G6, which is insane because the phone's already out on the market for the last couple of weeks, probably even the last month. And we just start getting this shouting matches with people. It was like, I had a ticket. I said, oh, I'm front of line. I laid it down. This woman picked it up. And she's just like, yeah, all right. I'm like, put my ticket down. And she's like, it doesn't guarantee your phone. And I was like, I don't care. It's not yours. Don't touch it. And like, she like started shouting at Melanie and then I just pushed her on her ass. I was just like, you don't touch my wife. You don't touch my wife. I will fucking kill you. I'm like, Jesus. And then the people were just like, okay, we're taking the pre-orders. Come on in. And like, did he even notice that I just like threatened this woman who touched my wife's life? <laughs> oh. Here's the here's the thing about your brain and dreams. Like if, if you eat something either sweet or salty before you go to bed, your brain like acts like really weird and it gives you like these really vivid dreams. I had one a couple of days ago where uh, I guess I was going through like an existential crisis or something. Like it's like oh you're 35 and you haven't done anything. What are you doing with your life? You know you should be at this point in your life. You should have this and this and this. Like usually what the, the like the average life or the, you know, what society suggests that you should have a house and kids by now, by this age. And I was like, whatever, like, I've got a wife that loves me. We're in a, you know, a nice place where, you know, we're, you know, we're, we're doing good. You know, pl we're still planning for our future and I'm close to that. So who cares what, I, I don't even know if it was anyone that was telling me this or this was just shit I was just thinking about at that time. But, uh, yeah, like like, do this yourself, so, if you've ever wanted to, um, you know, have some, like, weird effed up dreams, or, like, some vivid dreams, you know, you know, have, like, a little bit of popcorn, or maybe a couple chips, uh, you know, maybe take, like, some, have, like, a piece of chocolate or something before you go to bed, and you're gonna have some pretty, pretty awesome, maybe, maybe some horrible, uh, nightmare dreams, I don't know, it all depends on your brain chemistry. Anyways, that's enough rambling for me today, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Day 19, and we'll see you, well, later today for Day 20. And I'm not going to talk about the obvious uh, elephant in the room with this day. See you soon.